Welcome to Revelant, where we are revealing the relevant and revolutionary word of God. I am your host, Mia Janine. And today we were going to we're going to be going over Matthew the 21st chapter. We'll be covering several topics and then we'll tie it all together. So you'll hear these podcasts in parts, but stay with us. I have a word from the Lord and I want you to get all that he's given to me. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for your spirit, oh God. Give your people ears to hear what thus saith the spirit of the Lord. Father, we thank you in advance for <clears throat> the fruit that will come forth from this word. We thank you, Lord God, that your people will be strengthened and encouraged, Father. And we thank you in the name of Jesus that hearts will be convicted, lives will be changed. In Jesus' name, amen. Matthew, the 21st chapter. We will begin at the first verse, and it reads, When they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus gave two disciples a task. He said to them, Go into the village over there, and as soon as you enter, you will find a donkey tied up You will find a donkey and a coat with it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anybody says anything to you, say the Lord needs it. He sent them off right away. Now this happened to fulfill what the prophet said. Now say to daughter Zion, look, your king is coming to you. Humble and riding on a donkey. And on a colt, the donkey's offspring, the disciples went and did just as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the donkey and the colt and laid their clothes on them. Then he sat on them. Now a large crowd spread their clothes on the road. Others cut palm branches off the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds in front of him and behind him shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up. Who is this, they asked. The crowds answered, it's the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. You know, this is rich text, um, but we're going to attempt to dive into it because the Lord has given me so much. We see here the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, the city of peace. We see this happening prior to his death, burial, and resurrection. We know that the Mount of Olives is the place where Jesus ascended to go and be at the right hand of the Father after he rose from the dead. It's the place where Jesus gave his disciples instructions and they looked up and watched as he entered the clouds. Then they heard an angel say, this is the way in which Jesus will return in the same way that he ascended. And notice that this place was also chosen by Jesus as the place where he would go and send for donkey and its cult. Notice that he gives two disciples one task. Just like we are his disciples, he sends out his disciples together with the same task. One can chase a thousand to flight to 10,000. How can two walk together unless they be agreed. So it's important that we understand that when Jesus gives instructions, a lot of times he's giving them not as one person to go out and do it alone, but he's giving it to two in this instance. 
but the same task, same instruction, but he gave it to two so that they would have a counterpart. He said to them, go into the village over there. And as soon as you enter it, you will find a donkey tied up in a colt with it. Notice that Jesus' instructions are clear. There's no ambiguity with Jesus' instructions. When he tells them that as soon as they go into the city, they're going to have and find a colt and a donkey tied up. That's very specific instructions. He sends his two disciples. He gives them one task, which is to go into the village. And as soon as you enter, you'll find a donkey and its cult tied up. <clears throat> and he says, if anything, if anyone says anything to, to you, let them know that the Lord says he needs it. So what is Jesus showing? He's showing that his instructions are clear, that he doesn't send you out by yourself, but many times he sends you out two by two. And he gives the same task. And he wants you to do that task speedily because it says he sent them off right away. What does he have need of? What does the donkey represent? The donkey represents royalty. The serving of royalty. And notice what is said that this is what fulfills what the prophet said. What is the prophet saying? Daughter Zion, look, your king is coming to you, humble and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the donkey's offspring. Jesus is commanding his disciples to go loose and untie the donkey who no one has ever sat on. It was a wild donkey. And not just the donkey, but loose also the offspring. What is that depicting? He sends his disciples in the world to go and seek that that is sick, that that is lost, that that is bound. And in this case, we see bound donkeys, bound royalty. But Jesus knows whose are his. Just like he says, we must needs go to Samaria because he knew when he goes to Samaria, he, Samaria, he's going to meet a woman at the well who is going to turn the city towards the living God. Jesus sent his disciples with one task to go into the village and untie the donkey and its offspring. He wants us to go into the hedges and the byways. And he wants us to compel those to come, those that are bound to come, those that have not been in the service of the Lord to come, those that do not understand what it means to be of service to the Lord. He wants them to come. He has specific instructions that he's giving to his saints who will obey him quickly and those instructions will tell them exactly where to go and it will be confirmed because he will send them out two by two to go and get that which he desires, those that he desires to call into his kingdom, those that are bound, not just them, but their offspring. Jesus is all about generations and he knows that those that are his, he also is concerned about their children. He says, go and get them, untie them. That means loose them, free them from their bondage and bring them to me because I have need of them. I'm reminded of when Saul on the road to Damascus had a blinding experience where Jesus said to him, why do you kick against the pricks? And he needed him. And so he blinded him so that he could get to a place where he could convert him and change his name. The Lord knows that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are 
few. This is the time before the triumphal entry that the Lord is requiring his disciples to go and seek the lost, to go and seek those that need the great physician, go and seek those that are going to be a part of the royal family, but just don't know it yet. Right now, they haven't served. They don't understand. They are outside of the camp, if you will, but Jesus always knows where to find his disciples. And he, in that particular time, will send those who are going to be used to get others who he wants to use. Here we see two disciples going out and compelling the donkey and its offspring to come and be of service to the Lord. And they obeyed him quickly. They brought the donkey and the colt to Jesus for him to sit upon and make his triumphal entry. My friends, Jesus is coming back soon. And before his re-entry, He's requesting that we, as his disciples, join forces to go and do what he commanded us those many, many years ago. Go into the hedges and the byways. Loose, set the captives free and bring them to Jesus. Prepare the way for them to be prepared for the coming of the Lord. He wants us to do his work. He wants us to obey his instructions for he knows those that are his. The harvest is plentiful. The laborers are few. Let us be about our father's business, obeying the specific instructions of the Lord, knowing that he is soon to come.